Hello, my name is Raul. I'm an Elixir developer at Erlang Solutions. As you may know, we build Erlang and Elixir applications to build highly concurrent distributed systems. Today, I'm not going to talk about Erlang or Elixir. Today, I'm going to talk about the Clean programming language. Clean is a type-safe programming language that builds down to Erlang. This is important in the sense that it shares the same virtual machine as Erlang or Elixir. And personally, I really like it because it means that I can still use the amazing ecosystem of Elixir, but also the extensive standard library of Erlang. So today, I want to give a micro workshop regarding uh, Glim's interoperability with both Erlang and Elixir. This is Glim website, glim.prom. Over here, you might find all the information you might want about Glim news, community, how to sponsor the language, and also how to learn the language. I highly suggest you try Gleam over, the, over here at tourgleam.run, where you can learn more about the language. I also recommend for this micro workshop, uh, you might need to install Erlang and the Elixir compilers. You might use any package manager you might want, for example, Brew. I personally prefer to use ASDF. Over here, I have a very simple Gleam application. Let's see first what this application is about. So if I go to the console and I run the application, we'll see that we are listening onto this port. Let's see what this port is about. And it's a small web page for a very simple tic-tac-toe game. As you can see, uh, we can just play uh, a very simple game of tic-tac-toe. This is a very small application to just show what Gleam is capable of. If we go back to the uh, if we go back to the code, we might see that as usual we have an Erlang supervisor, at least a Gleam flavored Erlang supervisor, and we have our usual components. For example, I have a web segment of the application where I can have the middleware and the router, and also I have the very important tic-tac-toe logic to just define the logic of the game. I really like uh, Gleam because I can type all this information and the types really help me to debug and uh, honestly be very uh, fast developing code for, for Gleam applications. And what I want to show today is the interrupt between Gleam and Erlang and Elixir. So for example, uh, I think we can divide interrupt into three steps or three segments. The first one is about external bindings. Clean provides a very simple FFI mechanism to reach any function from the beam. This function can be an Erlang function and it can be an Elixir function. For example, here I have an example of how to start the observer. As you might know, Erlang has a, a UI for observing and monitoring the virtual machine. So if, for example, we launch the Erlang REPL, we can launch this observer by hitting observer, the module, and the function start. And here we have the observer, the observer UI, where we can see the system, see the charts for memory, see the different application trees, and the different processes in the virtual machine. We can use this observer within Gleam by using the FFI. So for example, if I go here to my main starting point of the app, we can declare an external function from Erlang that launches the observer and the start function. We need to put a name for Gleam to use. In this case, my function is just called observer and then a return value. In this case, the return value, I just keep fuzzy because it's just an okay an OK uh, atom, which doesn't matter too much for for developing. And once I declare this function, I just can use it in my in my Gleam application right here at the starting function. So whenever I run my program with Gleam run, I can see that the observer is launched with the application. And likewise, we can see the memory, we can see the different applications, processes, etc. The second aspect of interoperability with Gleam is that we can use Erlang and Elixir dependencies for Gleam. Usually on Gleam, 
we have a tunnel file where we declare this configuration. We declare the configuration for the application, the version of the application, useful metadata, but also here, the dependencies. Currently, all the dependencies are clean dependencies. So there's no issues with compatibility of these libraries. But what if we wanted to use Erlang and Elixir libraries? Well, I have a small example to show. And let's say that we didn't want to use, uh, for example, a Gleam server or a Gleam UI for this, which currently are Mist and Luster, respectively. Let's say that we wanted to use Phoenix Library. Over here, I just switched to another branch called Library Interrupt. Let's look at the Gleam Tumble again. Now my Gleam Tumble uh, doesn't have the Mist server, neither Luster web framework. But what we have is Blog Cowboy, uh, JSON, and Phoenix Library. And with these dependencies, we can pretty much reproduce the same application. But this time, instead of using the Mist web server, we can use uh, the Phoenix server. So let's go to Udo again. And you will notice here on the starting function that we change uh, one, we, we added an extra function, which is the Phoenix endpoint. What is the Phoenix endpoint? Well, the Phoenix endpoint is just calling a Phoenix supervisor with the start function. And then we just add it here to our Gleam Erlang flavor supervisor. And let's look very briefly about what this supervisor is. So if we go to the to here, we can go to web, and you will notice that web is no longer a .gleam uh, file. It's now a .ex file, which means we are using Elixir instead of a Gleam project. And over here, I'm declaring the web point, the endpoint, the supervisor and any kind of other configuration that we might need, like the layout. And if we go to tic-tac-toe live.ex, we can see that now my tic-tac-toe application is a live view with the usual uh, live view uh, render and handle for events. Let's launch this application and see how, how it runs. Now, uh, Gleam is compiling not only Gleam files to Erlang, but also because I have the Elixir compiler installed, it's compiling Elixir. Now that the application compiled and launched, let's go to this, uh, this page and we can play the same game. I have mostly exactly the same logic and the same components. So the page will look mostly the same. So with that, uh, I just showed the three aspects of how to do a Gleam interoperability with both Erlang and Elixir. We can do very simple FFI to Erlang and Elixir functions. We can also do uh, dependencies from Erlang and Elixir and of course Gleam. And finally, we can just put our Erlang and Elixir files on a Gleam project. And as long as we have both the Erlang and Elixir compiler installed, we will be able to build our project and use these dependencies. So on my end, that's it for me. Thank you so much for listening to this micro workshop. I hope you learn a thing or two, or at least you're interested in trying out Gleam. You uh, might find me on GitHub as Chosar. Chosar, and you might find the S application at Chosar Pluto if you would like to try this as an example. So that's it for me. Thank you so much and have a great day.